The largest March storm in more than 20 years will be impacting the region late Monday night through most of the day Tuesday with heavy snow, heavy winds, absolutely blizzard conditions. And when it's all said and done, guys, I think many spots will be talking about feet, not inches of snowfall. Thanks for clicking in. This is the 6 o'clock uh, update. And I'll tell you guys, the models that came in today just got more impressive with the power of the system. It's not going to be a 24-hour event, but the 12 to maybe 18 hours it's snowing, there's going to be a 6 to 8-hour period where it snows 2, maybe 3 inches an hour in my highlighted zone here. And I like what I have. Uh, I'm going to do a final forecast tomorrow and get a little more resolution on exact amounts. But 12 to 18 with a plus, there'll be places over 20 inches. I'm very confident in that. Down here, I do expect some mixing South Jersey. Even Baltimore, Washington, you'll do 6 to 10, but I don't think you're going to get much more than that. Philadelphia might sneak out more than that, though. New York City, mostly snow. I think you're going to have a good hit here. There could be some mixing potentially, but I think mostly snow. South Shore of uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut, eastern Massachusetts could see a little mixing. And then interior, like I said, guys, we're talking blizzard. This is one of those things that you don't see too often, especially in March. Like I said, this is the biggest since the blizzard of 93. Now, it's not the blizzard of 93, but in spots actually near the coast could see more than they got in the blizzard of 93, which is interesting. Let's dive into the models here. Uh, real quick, winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings are out throughout the region right now by the National Weather Service. So they're jumping on this now, too. Uh, moving on here, we'll, we'll take a look at the North American model, which came out a few hours ago. All the models now are converging on the same solution. They have heavy snow spreading into the region very late Monday night, early Tuesday morning. And then by the time we get to daybreak, especially 11 to 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, you're not going to be able to drive. New Jersey, uh, northern Delaware, Long Island, starting in New England, it's not going to be any type of a travel scenario. Uh, you're going to have snowfall rates of 1 to 3 inches an hour, wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour near the coast, sustained winds at 35 to 40 miles an hour. It's going to be a blizzard. And uh, it's something that needs to be taken seriously. Uh, we have enough time and enough data in now where this isn't hype. Uh, there will be some details that need to be worked out with the actual snow bands because there is dry slots showing up in eastern Pennsylvania for the storm. But it's we're going to wait till tomorrow till we focus on that. But this is as we get into Tuesday afternoon. Watch this thing just wind up here and just go right up past the Cape. And again, it will be snowing. Flakes will be flying throughout the entire night Tuesday. But the brunt of the storm will be Tuesday morning through Tuesday afternoon. That's where things will be the worst, so that's what you guys have to prepare for. And up in New England will be a little later because obviously the timing of the storm. Models have been playing a lot of games with the energy. Uh, they've been taking the southern energy and trying to push it out to sea, but in the last couple runs, they've really been correcting that, and now we're seeing a storm where everything's much more consolidated, which is why we're seeing such extreme solutions. The European and Canadian models, that I'll show you the Canadian real quick. I mean, it's just projections. This is out of control, guys. If this happens, I mean, this is... This is something you see once every 20, 30 years if you got a storm like this. And I'm not ready to jump on that extreme solution yet, but I'm just very impressed with the amount of precipitation that the models are showing this storm uh, form. So again, this was my forecast getting updated tomorrow. Major storm coming. Uh, final forecast out tomorrow. And look, stay safe out there, but this is going to be a lot of fun to track, and you know you'll be hearing a lot from me. Thanks for checking in.